trap there, but too small. been after. Woo, we go gator. guys we're gonna do a uh, cleaning cook so last night we caught this guy it's about 18 inches 
here in Texas, the legal keeper limit is 15. They have to be at least 15 inches. This guy was 18. We got a couple keepers, but I only brought one home so I can uh, cook it up, show you how I do it. Like I said, this is the way I do it. Y'all don't have to do it like this. If it works for y'all, then go ahead and adopt this method. Or you could always, you know, tweak it to make it fit the way you do it. So today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I clean it, cook it, and eat it. Uh, earlier in the video, I saw how I caught it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is a sea speckled trout. Uh, we call them specks here. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and fillet this guy up really quick. Um, when you're gonna fillet a fish, you always wanna make sure you got a sharp, sharp knife. So that's one thing that you wanna make sure that you have a sharp knife when you do this. Uh, sharp knives make it a lot easier and a lot safer. Always be careful though, because these knives are really sharp, and you should—you uh, could always cut yourself, and uh, you can pretty cut yourself pretty bad. So, just make sure you're uh, being safe uh, when you're doing that. So, this is the way I, I do it. Okay. So, um, what you want to do is lift up this pectoral fin, and you want to cut at an angle. Um, you want to come in behind this gill plate here. So, what you want to do, you want to kind of come in, like, kind of like. Uh, get it like this at an angle because there's a bunch of meat up here so if you just come straight like this you're missing all this meat that's here there's meat all the way up to right about here because then that's the head so we'll go ahead and get started I'll show you how I do it okay so you want to get there make the incision kind of go down like that okay and then you're gonna spin them around and what you want to do, you want to follow. I'm not, I'm not the best at this, all right, guys. So, bear with me, all right. So, once you make that, you want to kind of follow this, his spine. Just kind of come down with it. Follow that all the way down, just like that. And then once you do that, you kind of want to find his ribs and just follow that those ribs down and try to get as much of that meat off of it as you can see I kind of messed up there but um, we'll just keep going bear with me guys like I said I'm I'm not the best at filleting but um, I'm gonna avoid his stomach area right there, so. Now, I don't cut all the way through, some people do, but I don't, I like to kind of leave that attached there and I'll show you here in a minute why I like to do that so let me show you this here cut so once we get the fillet down cut up pretty pretty cleanly okay so you want to flip it like that okay so there's your fillet I did miss some meat on there but like I said I don't like to cut all the way through the tail and then you just kind of want to cut down here
messed up there. <laughs> but I was trying to get all this skin off here, but uh didn't do it too cleanly, so it's alright. But pretty much you see the if you leave that little chunk there to help kind of keep it on. So that's kind of like what I do. But didn't come out too too perfectly. So we're just gonna get the rest of this skin off and then we'll do the other side, alright? Alright, so once you get your fillets and you cut the ribs out of it, I go ahead and uh, just rinse it off a little bit just like that. And then the other fillet. So I just want to rinse that off. Just like, like that. Put that there. So, once you have your fillets done, let me clean up a little bit. I got a bag over there where I just throw all my guts and everything else into it. So, when I'm done, I can just uh, throw that all away and it doesn't stay in the house. So, that's there, that's there. Okay, here. Let's get everything else ready. I'll be right back. So flour, egg, and panko breadcrumbs. So after the, I get my fillets done, I go ahead and uh, I just cut them in little chunks. Because the way I'm going to cook it, there, just like that. They don't have to be perfect. Uh, I just like to do it a good eating size, you know, where you can just grab it with your hand and, and have it. So, just do that with both fillets. This one actually came out worse than that one. <laughs> so, there you go. Like that. Like that. There you go. There you go. Just like that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Nice, clean cook. So we got our cuts here. Now you can use whatever seasoning you like. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, garlic ranch. It's a, it's a seasoning that I prefer. You could use whichever one you like. I also have some Tony Sachery. I got some SPG, but we'll just go with this. You don't wanna use too much. This stuff is kinda kind of has a strong flavor to it so you want to sprinkle some on there to get some flavoring on it like I said you use whatever seasoning you like like I said I like this garlic ranch it's pretty good but um, with this stuff here you don't want to put too much because it's uh, pretty strong so go ahead and just mix that up just like that all right take uh, one of these cuts put it in the flour kind of mix it around get it nice and coated just like so and then shake it off a little put it in the egg drop it in mix it around in this egg a little bit drop it in like so. There you go. And then you just kind of want to mix that up. And 
There we go. And then you just repeat that with all the other with the rest of them, and then I'll show you what to do next. I like to have my grease like around 350. And this meat cooks really, really quick, so you don't have to leave it in there for too long. Once your oil gets heated up to a good temperature, you put your stuff in. Um, I think it'll take probably about five to ten minutes at the most to cook this meat. Uh, like I said, it doesn't really take long. I never really time it because when I use the the fryer like this, my rule of thumb is like whenever I fry something and it floats, it's done. So the oil's almost done heating up, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started and put the first couple of pieces in, and then uh, I'll show you what I mean when I said it floats to the top. All right. All right. So now that our oil's heated up, you want to take a couple of these pieces just lay them in there don't want to put too many because you want to have enough space for them to to cook i don't like overcrowding it so i'll put in like four pieces that should be good uh in this little one here it's not that big and then uh we'll go ahead and cook them and like i said uh, i'll be able to tell they're done when they float up to the top so let's go And once they float up, start floating around the top, you know they're done. So, I'll go ahead and let those cook, and then uh, we'll finish it off, and then I'll show you the end product. All right? All right, so you can see a couple of them already started floating up to the top. So, that lets me know that they're done. Once they start floating, they're done. So you don't want to overcook it. This meat cooks really, really fast. So you don't really need to put it like on a high temp. That's why I do 350. And it's just enough to cook it and not over, overcook it, okay? So we'll go ahead and finish cooking the rest of these and then I'll show you the end product. All right, guys, finished product. Check it out. Tell me that does not look absolutely delicious. So like I said, this is a... Uh, speckled sea trout filleted rolled in flour rolled in panko and then it was in an egg batter and then we dipped it in the panko the panko gives it this golden crisp it look, they look like chicken nuggets or chicken tenders so you could eat them just like this dude and they will be delicious and very very good but but you can take it a step further boom franks I love Frank's. It's spicy, but it's not like really, really spicy. I mean, I'm not a huge, huge fan of like super spicy food. I like it to have some flavor, but not where it's overpowering, where you can enjoy the food. So I like to go with the Frank's and then <clears throat> they got this wing sauce, Buffalo. So what you can do now after you fried it, um, take you some of this, kind of pour it in the bowl like that. And if you want, dip it in like that. Kind of give it a little roll, get it covered up, and boom, you got like a, uh, kind of like a buffalo wing, so. Mmm, it's delicious. So, mmm, excuse me. So, you, like I said, you can do it like that, or you can just eat it like this. Either way, came out great, really good, look at that meat. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm good eating right there, guys. So, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. I'm going to leave a link to all my uh, social media down in the description. To my Instagram. To my Facebook uh, page. And if y'all got any questions, y'all want this recipe, or if y'all have any suggestions or anything like that, leave them down in the comment section. I love reading the comments. If you got questions, reach out to me. I love helping out. I love giving, you know, information that I have. I love sharing it with people. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Get in touch with me. And, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. This is my first, 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 my first catch, clean, and cook. And if you all enjoyed the videos, I'll keep doing them. Also, let me know how you all like the new angle. I was wearing a chest strap uh, when I was out fishing. If y'all enjoy those angles, let me know. If not, I can always go back to the head head strap like I got on now. So, hope y'all enjoy the videos. 
leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends. Let them know we're out here doing big things, all right? So like I always say, man, get up, get out, and get hooked, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.